Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the namespace in C++. So namespace is good if you want to make sure that the name of your function or class or whatever it is, you don't want it to have conflict with something else that could have another name. So you would put everything inside your namespace. So we'll go ahead and look at example. I have include IO stream, and we're going to do a test example here with our math class that we'll see in a minute. So let's say we have our main function, and inside our main function we have stdcout, and let's say we're calling the square root function. Let's say we want to find square root of 7. Okay, so we'll see that uh, prints out our square root. So maybe we want to create our own square root function and we don't want to have a name conflict. So what we would do is have the keyword here, namespace, and we're going to call this kwood math. And then inside we could create our own function called square root. So double x in. So inside our square root function, thanks to the Babylonians, we have x cur equals x in. And then we have a double x new. We're going to initialize to some number. And we're going to have a minimum error that we expect. So maybe we're just making a new square root function because we don't need such a high precision error and we want it to run faster. But again, you could have various reasons why you want to create a different function and not have name conflict. So this does a simple check. See if your current error is bigger than your min error. This is kind of like Newton's method a little bit for those that know math. And then you have x cur equals x cur plus x new divided by 2. So it's going to take the current value plus a new one divided by 2 and set that equal to your current value. And then you have x new equals to x in divided by x cur. Then we compute the error saying error equals x cur minus x new. Okay, and then after you do all that, you will return your current value, which will be your best guess based on this error tolerance. So if I say std cout kwood, so to actually call the function inside your namespace, you need to type your namespace colon colon sqrt. So that's kind of the same idea where we do um, std cout. You're actually using a namespace. Okay, so. You have square roots, and then I'm going to pass in my 7 again, and then our new line. So if I run this, we should see two square root values print out. So you can see one is tighter precision and one is less. So that's how you implement a namespace in C++. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.